Okay, here we are in round three, the finals, um, and we are on the play. No first turn captive, but Garrick and Boar. This worked out for us last time, I'm going to keep it. Probably just search up the red right away. And it depends, I guess. Nah, I think I will. I'll just get the red. White is only mildly important, whereas red is pretty important. Okay, we'll play our mountain. I hope it's not another blue-white tokens. Or white, <laughs> white-black tokens. Alright. Uh, we'll do... Our guy. We'll also do torch, so we don't have an awkward moment where we need to cast it and equip it. What else? Ugh. I passed that out of my first pack. It's really good. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'm okay with this, actually, and producing a wolf. Even if he attacks with Highborn. Um, I guess if he gets the, uh, Captain, it's shitty, but if he doesn't have Captain, then even if he attacks Garrick, I'm producing black tokens then that can block the Highborn. Yep, okay, well that sucked then. But we tried, and we failed. But at least next turn we get a 5-5, and we saved ourselves uh, 3 damage here. Totally take that out. I think this is going to be a really good zombie build. I think I just need to do this. That's going to be too much of a pain. I know the captain is killing me slowly, but... Uh, I'd, I've only taken like a few damage here, whereas I'd be taking another three. And this way I at least have the 5-5 five, five Fester Hide War too. No. Hopefully it's Screeching Scab. No! Ugh, how unlucky. Um... Probably should have killed the Highborn with the Garrick from the get-go. That was a misblur. I wish I had a one-eyed scarecrow on my side. Ouch. That's no good. Yep, that's what I want. incredibly here. 
Okay. Ouch. So, two turn clock. What do I have him on? If I had to rally the peasants and the plains, I'd be golden. Oh, wait, I'm a. Yeah, it was a two turn clock. Can't do anything with that. Alright. That's game. Whoops. Alright, well, see what we can do. Uh, I definitely want crushing vines. I didn't see a flyer, but it's potential that he has a scab, uh, stitch drake. Um, either way, I want to take out the thing there. I want that, I want that. These guys, I've been signing these out a lot, and I haven't been upset about it at all. Let's see. Um, I want as much removal as I can get. The collar is just maybe a little too slow here, actually. Uh, of everything else... Gutter Grime's also too slow. This guy's deck is good. Um, I hope this one works out. And we'll play first. Okay. Uh, first turn torch. Obviously catching up to me there. Well, that sucks. I definitely could have gotten in for two more damage. That two extra damage would have been so nice. I don't think there's a flash blue creature. I could get Frightful Delusion. No, or Dissipated. Um, there's red spell or black spells that could kill it. Not Tragic Slip though. Mm, okay. scab, so he must have a makeshift mauler or something. Oh, okay. Just going for pure venom. Okay. Unless he's playing saving grasp, I don't think there's a reason not to attack in here. I'll uh, still keep that a secret. Um, hmm. Do I even need that? I'd like to get more attackers out, but at the same time, if I get my gang flipped, I'm in a really good spot, so I'm gonna swing here and here. Just pump this now.
Okay, we'll just flip our guy. The blazing torch is so much more valuable to us uh, this way, I think, right now. Since he's very heavy, um, into. Well, I'm glad I flipped him then. Into zombies. Swing in, pump him. Hmm. I'll bring out the pilgrim. Uh, this way, if he does kill the Dark Thicket Wolf, I can equip the Torch to the Pilgrim. No, I'll equip the Torch to the Viper, and then to the Pilgrim post-combat and throw it. And that, of course, is assuming he decides to keep attacking with his Invisible Stalker. Even that's fine. So it's this, oh, Stormbound based, okay. Swing with the wolf again. So, hopefully this is a, uh, makes us okay, at least having an okay matchup here. I just need one of my guys to be able to get through, yeah, okay. So, game three. And hopefully we get, like, a really good turn progression in our next game, because this is a, I think it's just a really close match. This guy's deck is really strong in the in the zombie strategy. Could do curse on him. I think I will, because my creatures tend to be a lot better. Uh I, then I want that in though. And I think I can take out the travel prep. No, but then I want that in too, actually. Sue so, of all of these. I think I'll just take out the crushing mines. Yes, it doesn't give me an answer to Olven or the Demon Male Halberd, but you know. Sometimes you just gotta make sacrifices. Okay, we'll see what he decides here in a sec. Okay. Uh, this is an okay uh, opening hand for us. Alright, second turn, Dark Thicket is okay. 
I'm happy with that. No, not him. Yes, he gets to swing back for five, but at least I'm, like, in the race with him. Uh, next turn I can cast the either the Elvenwald Mystics or the Festerhide Boar, depending on how my attack with the Dark Thicket Wolf goes. If he plays nothing, then I might just sit back with the Wolf, too. It really depends. If I draw a Prey Upon or something like that, it's... I'm totally attacking in. Or I guess, well, no, I can attack in. Hmm. Next turn I can play either Hermit and Pump or just Professor Hydebore and Skeeter Gang, one of those two. Okay, I'll sack that one. And I'm I'm willing to trade here because this is such a big clock for him. Oh, I guess I can't. Spoke too soon. Like I said, this guy's deck was really good. Okay, I don't want to get tragic slipped out, so I'm going to do Fester Hide Boar here. There's a good chance he does Ghoul Razor here, which I'm like not at the point where I can worry about him doing Ghoul Razor. I mean, it's like way far gone. Yeah. There's just a really good chance he had Ghoul Razor, I guess. This guy's deck was really, really good. Um, three damage next turn. No, I think I gotta do this. Travel prep it. That way it survives uh, the ghoul razor attack. And really all I need is like blazing torch. Just one of my removal spells then I can like stay in it. But it's seems to be really hard to get there. Uh, you know, it's green. He's got three of my creatures in the graveyard, so a Gnaw of the Bone would gain me six right now. Oh no, he kills me if I block. Yeah, it's over. That sucks. That's a good game. Alright, well, we did get second in that draft, so... And we got a Garrick. I can't be too upset. Alright, well, we'll see you next time.